All right, guys, just real fast, I want to show you how I've modified, and that's just the markings on it. It's just a pencil where I laid out some holes. But anyway, um, so the transmitter wasn't going very far. Uh, I wouldn't get very far from where I wanted to be, where I was flying, and it would uh, it would cut out, and it was just driving me nuts. And and uh, I seen I seen an upgrade where they they changed out this transmitter for a different one and zip tied it in there, which was a great idea. I mean, if it, if it works, it works. Um, but anyway, so I, I found another one. Uh, a guy had shown that uh, there was a transmitter that would fit inside here, and it would also uh, it's it's plug and play. So uh, I just want to show this real fast. I don't want to make a long video. Here's the one that come out of that this right here, and uh, that plug that's on the end of it. I I have one here that that plugs right into it, and uh, here is the uh, information to help you. So here's what I cut out. Um, this was on the leg, if you remember. It was right here, it comes out, and that antenna goes inside and comes comes into the transmitter. I had to cut that out because if you look at that frayed wire, I tried to fish it out, and I didn't want to totally dismantle this thing, so I just cut it. Um, but this is the one that came out, and I took the cover, I put it in, and I took the cover. Well, the one that came, it's got digital readout, and it's got a button, if you look really close, there's a button right there that matches, uh, that, that, that fits almost in the same spot. So I drilled this hole a little bigger, I drilled a hole out here so I could see the display, and this thing gets really hot. And uh, there's vents on the there's vents on the inside for that. If you can see right there, oh, right there, these are vents cut, and they're right up underneath this to give it some airflow. So I, I just I gave it some additional airflow. I just drilled a few more holes, uh, but I wanted it protected. I wanted that aluminum housing, uh, and I'm. I'm kind of a stiffler for cosmetics. And it also come with an antenna. It came with this antenna, um, but and, and I like it and it's fine, it works It works fine. But uh, these work better. These give me a lot more range. Now I've seen a, uh, on Facebook, there's a guy, he, I mean, he gives like a thousand meters uh, distance. But anyway, I just wanted to show that um, and share this with you guys. Maybe it'll help you out. But uh, I will if you if this isn't enough information to find it I'll look on Amazon where I bought it and I get you the link uh, this transmitter it comes with it like I said it comes with this antenna and it comes with a wiring harness and I'm, I'm thinking uh, some of the, my my other smaller drones that I don't really care about I think I think I may actually try to wire this up and uh, get a GoPro uh, get my GoPro adapter and wire it to this and wire it to the battery and uh, use this transmitter so so it's not wasted. It's not totally gone. I think I think I can st I can salvage this antenna, and then I bought these antennas. I mean, they were like eight bucks for both of them. And I, uh, right now I can't remember if the three blade is supposed to be for the transmitter and the four blade for your controller. Uh, but either way, I mean, I they they both work so far. So there it is. All right, guys. Later.